Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm really excited to be sharing the new kits and products that are releasing at the Feed Your Craft Shop. Today is May 15th, 2019. This kit is gorgeous, beautiful. It is travel themed. It was designed by In A Creative Bubble and it's called Ready To Roam. So I'm gonna start with the stamp set. Now, by the way, I always recommend this, even if your kits are themed, it doesn't mean you have to just stick to that theme. I'm gonna share with you my process video after the unboxing, and you're gonna see that I didn't travel, but I was still able to use my kit to document my photos. So anyways, the stamp is gorgeous. You have this beautiful tag that you can stamp out, add some journaling, a photo, or you can stamp some of these phrases inside the tag. You have Rome, exploring, let's go on an adventure, epic, little circle that says this must be the place. And I really love the simplicity of the stamp set, like the cleansiness of it, I guess. But anyways, that's the stamp. Then you have some die cuts. This pack is jam packed with die cuts. I'm not gonna go through all of them because it would take too long, but you have some really cute tags. So pretty and bold banners, circles. There's just so many different die cuts in here. You have some tabs as well. The colors are bold, they're gorgeous. Love the die cuts. You also get some alpha stickers in black. These are new to the Feature Craft Shop. They're like tile puffy stickers, so cool. I love that. And I love the combo of that black with the bold colors. Really, really pretty. Let's put that aside. And then you got your cards and your four by sixes, your three by fours. They're bold, beautiful, like I said, travel themed, really pretty um, four by sixes and three by fours. You have filler cards, you have journaling cards. Love that loving this neighborhood. Sightseeing, itinerary. The little tags you can definitely replicate that with that tag stamp i love this so so much and i can't wait to use it in my process video today so i'm going to put away this kit and then share with you some of the little things that are also releasing today at the feed your craft shop okay so the first add-on is this beautiful traveler's notebook has a bunch of different maps in different colors, it's striped, it's gorgeous. The paper is so white and so smooth. You guys know how much I love my white paper. It is gorgeous. I can't even tell you. I can't wait to use this traveler's notebook. I think I want to use it um, if we travel this summer to kind of document our photos, but it's just so pretty, so gorgeous. I love that. Then you have this new stamp set, and this one's called Travel Stats. Okay, so this stamp set goes really, really well with the kit. It is so cute. I can't wait to use this. It just has different phrases, different words, like delays, new places, country, stops, hours. And then you have like little phrases down here that says adventure bound, journey, are we there yet? I really like this, and you have the numbers, of course. I love this little stamp set goes really well with the kit. Um, you have some puffy stickers. These are gorgeous. Um, Elise from Feed Your Craft perfects these little stickers. I love them. Her puffy stickers are my favorites. I always use them in all my layouts. And these I know are going to become a new favorite. You have some stars. You have little speech bubbles, circles. So pretty. Love that green and blue. That teal. So cute. And we get back to those alpha stickers, the puffy tile ones. You have them in different colors, gray, pink, and blue. So you have some options if you don't like the black or you want to build and add more colors, you have more options. So there's a lot going on in the shop today. I definitely recommend to check it out um, before everything sells out. Um, and then if you want to see how I'm going to use my kit, 
in my project life, I definitely recommend you keep watching because it's a good one. Okay, you guys, let's start working in my project life. This is week 14, 2019, and I'm gonna use the Feed Your Craft Kit that released today to document these photos. Now, I've mentioned earlier that even if your kit is themed, like this one is travel themed, um, I'm still using it for a regular week. We didn't travel, we didn't go anywhere. We were doing things around our neighborhood, around town, so the kit still works and I'm gonna make it work. I'm just going through the cards, I'm going to find the cards that match nicely with my photos and kind of tell the stories of my photos. Now, once I feel like everything looks good, I'm gonna set my layout aside and start working on my week card and my title card. I love this uh, card because it says weekend adventures and that represents most of the photos on my spread. So it worked out perfectly. I just stamped around town using the stamp set that came in the kit and I'm using the alpha stickers or those puffy stickers to add week in that little box. Very simple, very easy, but I'm still using my kit that was travel themed for a non-travel themed layout. So definitely think outside the box. Don't feel like you only have to purchase this kit to use on layouts where you're traveling or you're on vacation. To finish up my card, I'm just gonna stamp that little arrow and I'm moving on to this three by four card that says loving this neighborhood. Works perfectly with all my little stories. I'm just gonna end up stamping exploring using the stamp set from the kit. I'll take the card to my typewriter, add a little journaling, and then I'm gonna grab the pack of die cuts and go through it. There's so many die cuts in this pack, so it takes me a while <laughs> to find what I'm looking for but I end up using a red flag, really cute. I'm gonna add that to the bottom of my card. And I'm also gonna use the new puffy stickers that released today and add a little speech bubble with a heart right above my title. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know how much I love Feed Your Crafts puffy stickers. And this is definitely become a favorite since I got it. And I will be definitely purchasing more to add to my stash. But anyways, because my die cut pack is already out, I'm going to go through it again and add another one to this photo of my son and I on our weekly walk. It just says around town. It helps bring in that red. And I will also go through the die cuts again and add one to this 4x6 photo of my daughter and I working on our newest puzzle. Um, I just ended up adding favorite place right above my journaling. And I think it cut off at some point. I did add a flag to our brunch photo, but I will change my mind anyway, so it's not a big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp epic. It just comes in this really cute little triangle. And I'm gonna add it to this four by six photo of my son and his friends practicing at home their instruments and all that good stuff. So I will stamp it on some sticker paper, add it to the corner of my photo, and to bring in some more of the green from my title card, I'm gonna go through that puffy sticker sheet and add um, like little uh, plus signs around that little stamped image. Now I'm going to be moving on to this three by four pocket. I had two photos and I wanted to create a little flip pocket for my photos. So I'm going to end up using this three by four card that says favorite and you can kind of tick off what's your favorite place or restaurant or whatever the case is. Um, because I'm documenting us going out for brunch and for pretzels and things like that. So I just ticked off favorite restaurant. Um, I have shared with you that I always use like the snap flip pockets, but recently I'm really enjoying just using washi tape. Uh, first it's cheaper and it's really easy to do. 
and um, I just like the feel of it in my album. It doesn't add a lot of bulk like the flip pockets. So I've been doing that lately. I used some washi, stuck these two photos together, and just added my journaling card to back up my photo. And then adding the washi tape underneath the card helps, you know, kind of keep it neat and clean. But I went ahead and stuck down that green flag, but then I decide um, I don't like it there. And I will change my mind in a bit right after I add some puffy stickers to my card in my flip pocket. But I'll go back to that flag, remove it, and go through my die cuts and find a little tab. I just thought I probably need a tab to remind me that there's a flip pocket there. Made more sense, but I'm not getting rid of that little green flag. I already added tape to it, so I'm going to end up adding it to the photo from the inside. And that way I was able to use both die cuts. But once I'm done with my flip pocket, I'm going to finish up my layout by adding a little something to this next photo of my kids and I. Now, I said this before, we were around town, um, we really weren't traveling or anything like that. So I just decided to use one of the die cuts in yellow, it was like a little label. And I thought I would just stamp Let's Wander and uh, create a little pattern to it with my stamps. There's this little circle stamp that's adorable, it's like a dotted circle. And um, when I trimmed it off, it's going to remove that cute little label on the side, and that's fine. I don't throw it away. I will add it back into my die cut pack and use it for another layout. But anyways, you guys, once I get that down, I am done. Uh, don't forget, today is release day at the Feed Your Craft Shop. I will link everything in the description box for you guys. This is a great kit, and there's some really awesome add-ons to grab in the shop today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!